Good morning. You may want to know which is the oldest military unit still in existence. So, this is a bit controversial in the sense the evidence is a bit patchy and not all sources agree, but we have identified one. Some of you may think that the Swiss Guard, the Papal Guards at the Vatican are the oldest unit still in existence. Well, they are very old, but they are not the oldest one. The oldest one is the Regnento de Infanteria Immemorial del Rey numero uno. No, 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 no. The highway is Regimiento de Infanteria in Memoria del Rey numero uno. So the story goes, King Ferdinand III of Castile in 1248 during the siege of Seville, we're talking about the Spanish Reconquista, this is the time of the Spanish Reconquista, he had the possibility to see in action the Banda de Castilla, so a group of warriors coming from Castile. He was impressed by their bravery and skill, so he gave them a banner, the banner of Santiago, and made the Banda a permanent unit. And it is believed to be the first permanent unit in medieval Europe. Fast forward one century, and we know that Alfonso XI made them fight at the vanguard at the Battle of Salado in 1340. Fast forward another couple of centuries, and we know that the unit takes the name of Tercio de los Morados Provincial de Sevilla. It changed its organization in the organization of a Spanish Tercio, and this happened under the reorganization of the Spanish army that was sponsored by Cardinal uh, Jiménez de Cisneros. As a curiosity, it appears that Sevilla's slaughter horses were supposed to pay for the maintenance of the unit. Again, fast forward, in 1632, Philip IV changed again the name and the organization of the unit. He ordered the unit to be recruited among knights of noble descent and re-enlisted men, veterans, and they assumed a new name. The new name was Coronella Gardas del Rey, and they were supposed to fight only when the king was commanding the army in person. The unit always kept a strong tie with the Spanish royal family. Even today, the Prince of Asturias, the heir to the throne, is a honorary member of the regiment. We have some witnesses from the 19th century where the children of the royal family are seen actually marching and eating together with the regiment. Today, the regiment depends directly from the Spanish army general staff and they care the logistics for the headquarter. There is a separate battalion in Madrid whose work is purely ceremonial. Maybe we are not 100% sure that this is the oldest unit still in existence, but they have a prestigious story and it's definitely a story worth telling. Thank you for watching. Good night.